Okay, we got a match. We got a match. We're gonna battle Hanzo. Okay, we got a match. Oops, yeah. forgot to remute myself. So you got some echo there. <laughs> ah, but yep, tournament style. We're gonna do best two out of three. See what happens. I'm sure he's playing just guy control I'm playing red white aggro this is actually really tempting to keep against just guy control but nah this is fine I'm gonna need a solid start plenty of pressure and just persistence lots of persistence and another red at some point This uh, red-white deck is not the same as the pre or the S cards in common. Obviously, it's hard to just build um, decks that you see on an SCG type event in duels. So, uh, shall we be censored? Let's find out. Not today. Not today. Maybe a harness lightning? Nope. Not quite yet. Being on the draw is a lot harder against control than it's ever been because of cards like Sensor. I mean, usually in the past I would just gladly slam the Selfless Spirit and then my opponent would most likely cast Telling Time and I'd be thrilled. But not anymore. That's a pretty aggressive Radiant Flames. That is a really aggressive Radiant Flames. Well, let's go see if we get cast out, shall we? and just prevent all damage my stone quarry would deal. And we'll put our opponent on cast out check, but if they do have cast out, at least we make them tap out to do it so we can continue to play some cards. Passing. Interesting, yes. Um, so we'll see how our opponent wants to respond to our next play. I guess I really want to hit a red source. Or do I want to play Pia? I guess Pia's better with the Angel next turn. And later I play an Abbot the better. We're also going to play our land first, and I want to get this one on the board because I want my next land that I play to be red if I draw it. So let's see if we can draw out a counter or some action from our opponent. If we can, then attacking's fine. If not, Blessed Alliance is a problem. Okay, so he lets that resolve, which means Blessed Alliance. But let's prevent all damage from your Glacial Fortress. Yeah, that's right. That's right, I'm shutting that fortress down. How do you like them apples? So now he gets to Glimmer, which sucks. Or commit? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Let's remember where that's going. memory in the graveyard and shuffle it all back up if he wants to but this does tell us that there is likely no cast out in his hand and quite possibly not a glimmer either or i'd probably want to play it well no you'd fall too far behind there could still be a glimmer but he didn't have a sensor on turn two and he doesn't appear to have a cast out now Commit is a perfectly reasonable card by itself, I believe. Four mana. Gideon. Alright, so he's gonna play Gideon. Right on. Interesting. And we drew the red mana we want. 
That's excellent. So is there anything I want to do besides recast my own Gideon? I don't think so. It's hard to turn down when you know what your top card is, plus it can unflavorfully shut down his Gideon. So let's attack you. Let's play Abbott. We're going to exile Gideon because we know where it was committed to. They are Mountain. Who would have known Abbott would get better with the printing of Commit? And plus on your Gideon. Shut that boy down. Now what's it going to be? Yep, knights. I am not surprised by that. But things are about to get interesting. I don't really know... Oh, he does have a cast out. Okay. Maybe he just drew it, or I don't know. Yep, goes after that Gideon, sure. So does he have Harness Lightning now? That's the question. Oh, well, that's a good draw. That is a good draw. So if we're gonna do that, Open with this Thopter attack. Seems innocent enough. He has Harness. He probably doesn't want to use it there. Looks innocent. Doesn't look like a problem. Then we play this. Sensor. I had you beat. And then Exile. You damage there. And away with your Gideon. Your move. Do we run the Hand Weird Garrison, asked Nighthawk. Well, I'm glad you asked. You can see the deck list by scrolling down and checking under the featured deck. I did post it there. I haven't always done a perfect job of updating that, but I did today. And we do run uh, Hand Weird Garrison and Hand Weird Battlements. Oh, somebody's bringing me quotes from Ninja. Thank you, because I'm missing them. <laughs> Apparently Ninja said, ooh, that's dirty. I wonder. Don't tell me what he was holding, but I'm really tempted to know if he was holding a Harness Lightning. Don't tell me. I'm just, in my head, I'm, I'm like, did I sneak it? Did I sneak one by you, Ninja? If I were in his seat, I wouldn't play around the one of Chandra Torch of Defiance either. having to think. So we've got some action. Maybe he's debating whether or not... He... Oh, there's the lightning. Interesting target. So this gets some damage in. Uh, this will get some damage in on Chandra. And here comes an attack. I'm not going to take any trades. I'm going to go to one. I need to keep my creatures that are on the battlefield, they need to stay there. Like, a lot. Alright. What do we try to play? Okay, so let's make some extra red mana. See if I can get this to resolve. You want to tap two white, two red. Okay. Right? Sure. Um, I'd rather tap... Okay. Come on. There we go. See if that resolves. It does. Okay. 
Let's try you. Do you resolve? Okay. Let's see if we can work on getting them dead. Is that last card the Blessed Alliance? Yeah, it's the Blessed Alliance we called a long time ago. So we have successfully played around all the obvious ones. But we've got him on empty. He has a memory in the hand that he could cast. So it'll be interesting to see if he goes for it. Does he run counters at all, asks Yonder. I believe he does. Actually, I'm curious. Uh, maybe he said something. This looks just like my Jeskai list. There's The only thing I might not run here is Gideon. And maybe I do have Gideon in it. <laughs> but it looks a lot like my list. No sniping, guys. The, I, I want I want some honest reads. Somebody's offering to snipe for me. That would be Avocado. He's my boy. You're my boy, Avocado. But um, I, I, I absolutely, absolutely don't want anyone sniping for me. So we can block and save Chandra. Or we can keep our battlefield. If he drew a sweeper, we look horrible for keeping our battlefield. So I don't think we can. I think we got a block. We're still super advantaged if he has a sweeper because we have the planeswalker. And if he, let's see, if he has something else, he lives longer. But we're we're super advantage either way. I think that's kind of a tough call, but because if he doesn't have the sweeper, we just untap and basically win. So even if he's just bluffing there, it's a good bluff. Oh, here comes memory. Let's shuffle up and deal. Wah! Wow. Not good. Not good at all. I wonder how he's doing. How's he feeling, right? How's he feeling? Chandra should go up. Um, we can play this for five. I guess if Chandra hits like a, a handweird garrison, that's really boss. Let's see what we get. Okay. I mean, that's okay. I think what I'll do here... Oof. This is kind of rough. But we want to give it haste. Battlements doing work. And I don't think I want to run this into a sensor. So I think I'm just going to waste two mana for the turn, but get my Spires ready for next turn, because I think we'll need it. And this is a pretty hefty attack. One thing I could have done is held on to the Needle Spires and made this decision post-combat. Maybe I play Thalia after combat. But I want this, like, I want him to pass. Maybe he has Gear Hulk or something. Oh, he's going to make me sack a creature. Uh, you can go. If he has Gear Hulk, I want to play this next turn and throw off his plan. Just a little. Eh. But I still should have... What I should have done is played the um, Needle, Needle Spires or Basic Land and another creature after combat. That's what I should have done. So... He should probably answer Chandra as soon as he can. See if he drew a cast out in his seven cards. What else could he have? Com uh, there's probably another commit in the deck. So those cards directly interact with Chandra. If he has big Chandra, that would be the big play. As that would kill it. Some debate in chat on whether or not Sensor is a good card. Sensor is a fantastic card, at least in duels, and that's what we play. So, 
be excited about it. We've never had anything like it in duels. It's not fair to compare it to something like miscalculation that we've never had. Anzo's having a deep think on this one. There's some people saying it's buggy. Uh, I haven't run into many bug issues that I can't fix by zooming in and zooming out a few times, but maybe that's just my experience. I haven't found it to be all that buggy. Abbott. Interesting. I think we probably want to play that. A uh, Corona stop listening. Carotana, Carantana, stop listening. God, how do I turn that thing off? I'm gonna have to figure out how to deactivate that stupid thing later. God, I hate Microsoft. All right, um, mana. Yeah, mana, because we're going to go pretty ham. Like, I have a lot of mana worth of stuff, but we can start with, um, we can start with you. Come on, tap right. I, I gotta watch my time. You want to flex that? Cast out. Okay, well, that's weird. You were gonna do that, wouldn't you? No, oh, whatever. It worked out for him. I could have activated Chandra first. I just really didn't think anybody would let me have it and untap in that situation. Okay, whatever. Glory bound. Mm hmm. Stop trying to tap my garrison, man pretty important that this garrison stays up, yo. Alright. I think I'll send the abbot. The crop captain can wait till always watching has its back. Here we go. Pack, please. Oh, we're lagging. No, not now. Not now. Come on. Look at my timer. The heck? Come on. Sinking. Oh, please. No. Not like this. Not like this. Ugh. Son of a... Nah. Out of time. Replaced by AI. No, not cool, man. Let's see what he does. Let's see how the AI handles this beatdown. At three. And there's a glimmer. Well, it's up to the AI to close this out now. It's gotta beat the selfless spirit. Got to beat the Needle Spires. Got to beat the Battlements. Yeah, Ninja got EMP'd, man. And there's Gideon, back from the dead. How obnoxious. And the AI goes for Nahiri. Ooh. Ooh. Not gonna be good enough, though. See if the AI figures that out. Going up. Cycling a land. All right. Let's um. Let's bring the pain. God, tapping is so hard with the battlements on the battlefield. It wants to use it every time. All right.
right, bring in it. No blocks. And it looks like we were gonna take that one. No sweeper or uh, mass removal in sight for the Hans. All right, I'm gonna check his stream really quick. Is he over here? Just going over to his channel. All right, yeah, he wants some more. Let's do it, game two. Avocado also wants to challenge a ninja. <laughs> You sure you don't want to challenge me, Avocado? I'm gonna need a match after this. I'm 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 disappointed you don't wanna battle me. Alright, going to game two. Boxing Chandra, yep. She jukes and she jabs and she jives. <laughs> And we are on the draw again, but I guess it makes sense, as we did win the last one. Hmm. Not the greatest hand. Definitely not the greatest hand against him, but we also can't expect much different. So, I guess we'll try it. But this might not be good. Oh, I thought you were talking... Okay, Avocado is challenging me. I thought he was challenging Ninja. Okay, yeah, we'll play after this match is over. There's the boo, there's white. I mean, I didn't think very hard, to be honest, uh, Shard. I, I didn't... I just don't really think. I just play. <laughs> I just play and I talk. I don't, I don't have a lot of time to process every the comments that come at me, so I misunderstand a good amount of them. Most of the time when I misunderstand, I just don't say anything. In this case, I failed at that. And there's the retreat, so the mana is flawless for our boy Hans. That's a lot of land. See if he can stop the always watching. Mm-hmm. Looks like the flood is real. Kept a four lander, drew three straight lands. Good old stainless. Maybe we can stop that crap this next turn? What do you think? What do you think? Now please, now please stop this crap. Not even Battlements or Abbey, although at least we have a Needle Spires. Four mana up, pass. Awesome. At least make him think that we might have the Hanweir Battlements to give it haste. No? No, we don't. Got the needle spires. And there's the glimmer. Boo. Carl to the rescue. Carl and the ragavan who gets run over by the caravan. What are we walking into? Harness lightning seems to be his removal of choice. So I don't think I want to send the Spires into open mana. I think I'll just send good old Carl to her death. So 
respond to trigger? No? Interesting. And I guess we'll play you. Pause me. What you got? Well, at least we know the likelihood of a counter being involved is pretty high. And he uses it, yeah. When you hold that long, you may as well use it or bluff. Now please play Gideon. Just, just play Gideon. Please. Please. Not Gear Hulk. Gideon. I want, I want Gideon. Gideon or Nahiri so bad. He's, he's a hungry dragon. Such a hungry dragon. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's not a bad draw. But he's got... Yep. Get him out of your hand. <laughs> Gotta do something. Threat, threat, threat. Threat, threat, threat. Eventually kill you. Eventually kill you. So next turn he'll have Gear Hulk mana, so that's when we want a Glory Bringer since it can go over the Gear Hulk. And Kari goes around, although the monkey won't. The monkey will be in trouble. So let's see, you're gonna pass? You're gonna show me the Gear Hulk? You're gonna make it obvious? Nope. Disciple. Oh. Um. Well, I can't kill it, and it can tap at me. That's not great. Ugh. But I guess if he lets it exert, he has to pump his disciple. Uh, there's no other way to do this, is there? Okay, what are my other options? He's only got four spells, so we want to make him use these like every turn. We really want to run him down. All right. He's like, Wah! All right, go to combat. There's the tap down. Mm hmm. Get in there. Bet he feels naked being all tapped out. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I guess we play our land in case we draw another. To get around that disciple ability. I guess we're also threatening a planeswalker. What do you got now? That disciple plays a little desperate. So hopefully he's running low on options. Only got three. He has to keep Glory Bringer back, or else it's just draining him for one anyway to pump this, and then it can't block. Hmm. Alright, let's fire up. Might as well get vicious. Uh, actually, I don't need the spires until after he taps something. Okay. Mitt. Targeting. Glory bringer. Can't do nothing about that. Power you up. Back with all. Now what? Surprise he let me attack. 
Now notice because of the vigilance, we're still holding up the, Kit the Kithian uh, indestructible activation because of vigilance. Mana combo. Okay. Now he's pausing. <laughs> pause you, pause me. Me, me, you, you. Okay, pumping. Pumping. How many times can he pump? I guess if he pumps three times, he's good? And then he's out of stuff, though, right? Hey, he's just about out of stuff. Gets the spires out of there, but man. What cost? It's his whole graveyard. He could have tapped it down for one. I mean, isn't that the better play? I don't know. What do you guys think? How would you guys do that? Would you block and uh, kill the spires at the cost of all the spells in your yard? I guess he has one left. Go down to three? Or would you just tap it down and hope to draw an answer? Okay. Indestructible, I suppose. But indestructible isn't untargetable. What if I make him attack Kithion? Can he do it? I mean, then what's he do? What's that do? If he has to attack, he only has one spell. He can make it a four. If he plays another spell, he can make it a five. But he can't have that good of spells, or he would have played them. This is so interesting. Not only that, it takes away a blocker, and he has to use a spell to untap it. Or, because if I just plus one this, and he wants to get to this, he still can. Like, he can get to it with Fumarole. So yeah, this is the right play. This is the right play, even if Kithion dies. <clears throat> because what he can do, even if I make this indestructible, he can tap it down with the Disciple at the cost of one spell, and he can send the Fumarole over and kill the Planeswalker. And then he still has Disciple back to block. So we know, we don't know our top card, we know the card under it is Glorybringer, which is lethal if he doesn't find the answer. Yep. Do we block? Nope. See if he has two spells here. Harness Lightning would be the nuts. Pull from tomorrow for zero? Which just reads discard a card. So what's he holding up? Six mana? I mean, okay. Wow, and he knows Glorybringer is coming? Are you kidding? What the heck is going on? I guess he needs all this mana because he needs to activate Fumarole, but he could just tap it down. Why wouldn't you draw some cards there? Uh, let me think. What could his hand be, then? Another Blessed Alliance would be almost too good. I mean, I can't beat that. So, four mana. What are, what, what are you doing? What does four mana do? It does Blessed Alliance. Feels like a trap. That's a good draw. <laughs> That's a good draw. Wait, what? Why is he leaving? Um... Yeah, I would like to exert... and target this. And I got a message from him. Okay. I mean, what was his hand? Did anybody see his hand? Was he online for that? Was he streaming? 
I guess he wasn't streaming. Yeah, I guess we don't I guess we won't know his hand. That's too bad. Uh but that was good. Had a tight had a had a tough match. No seal clubbing there. And uh, Hanzo's no seal. Uh all right, Avocado, you want in on this? You ready? Give me the word. I'm gonna go grab a drink. Just put something in there and I'll invite you. So Hanzo sent me a message. His hand was Archangel Avacyn. That was the card. He was trying to leave five mana up, and it looks like he miscalculated what he would need to do to leave five mana up. So that's the story. Archangel Avacyn was the card. I think I still would have won since my next card was the Crop Crasher, which could have made the Disciple unable to block, so he couldn't tap out for Avacyn anyway and live. Anyway, let's get Avocado in here. All right, here we go. Do it. Uh, yuck. I but look at this curve. <laughs> I mean, is a turn three Gideon this good? Is it this good? I don't know. Well, uh, this is the time for playtesting. Let's find out. Maybe this is madness. And it's a vampire. Rut row. Oh, hello. All right. Let's see the battlefield. Got a tough choice next turn. Which of these is better on the play? Tell me right now what you guys think. I'm going to base it, of course, on a lot of what my opponent does here, but. I do need I would love your opinion. He's on the curve. He's doing stuff. Yep, time to decide. Hmm. All right, uh, I think it's got to be the garrison. <laughs> the big, if he does, it's removal or die is what it says. It's, it says removal or die. Unfortunately, our opponent is black-red, but 
and they do have a way to trigger a fatal push if they want to, so the odds of this garrison living aren't that great. But let's find out. We gotta, we gotta at least check. Gotta give them the gut check. Unlicensed disintegration, probably. Another pretty good card. Or there goes Neonate, Fiery Temper. Yep, that'll do it. I mean, we knew that could happen. It's just kind of a gamble. You win some, you lose some. And two scroungers is a lot. That's a problem. Definitely want Glorybringer for this game. Let's see if he can kill Gideon or if Gideon. Just kind of a roadblock here, I think. Since I'm sure he can drop it to one and maybe even kill it, I'm hoping it either just soaks some damage or it uh, lets me get a hit in, big four points. And pass, uh-oh. I smell removals. Fiery temper. Okay, well, at least we didn't get madness out of it. And I still have a 3 3, and we do get our big hit in. So hopefully we can set up to steal this. All we have to do is draw another crop crasher off the top and hope the opponent has nothing. That's not nothing. That is a something. So let's see what our opponent wants to do. So why would you do it? No, avocado, don't. Dude, avocado, you send the 4-3 at my face. You send the 3-2 at Gideon, so you get more damage in. Aw, oh, man. All right, that is not what I needed to draw. It's not bad, though. It does soak up some damage. Uh, we'll, we'll put it on him. I'm at nine. I mean, I guess I'm not going to beat an unlicensed disintegration, no matter what. If I leave a creature back, I'm still dead, right? Not necessarily, but it's pretty darn close. Uh, I think he would have played that, though, instead of the Fiery Temper, which he cast for three at the time. So, I don't think he has it. He might have another haste creature, but that's not enough to kill us. All right, we'll go like this. It will not exert. Knock him to two, make him find the answer. And we got some blockers back. But this is a cl this has been a close race. Alms of the Vein, okay. Alms of the Vein, great. <laughs> nice hand. Uh, yep. And he had the sixth mana, so he clutched it. He clutched it. Alright, game two. Where's my... Hmm. 
I don't know if I have a page for this deck yet. See it. That was not a case where I wanted the Crop Crasher more than I wanted a removal spell. Just to keep that in mind. Okay. On the play again, well, at least we got that going for us. You guys can hear hear me turn the pages on paper. That's funny. Again, fun. Um, guess we'll make him have an answer right away, and we might get lucky. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. <laughs> well, don't, don't, don't go too slow. <laughs> Next things. Mm. Definitely want to hit a land. But the longer you wait on this, the better it is. So we'll get Carl out there. Get to work, Carl. Obviously, you can't replace that Lightning X tempo with anything in red white. It's one of the things about red black that's so appealing when it does line up. Wow. Um, so, he's decided to be a removal deck. Not really what you want to do with Alms of the Vein in your... Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I like this. But, we'll see. Decided to play Control. And we're just looking for a land drop. Which we've had no problem with every game up till this one. Awesome. Just awesome. Oh, it's a playable at least, but it's not a land. That's pretty funny. Now what you got? Yeah, okay, all the removal, all day long. And no attack, weird. Okay, there's a draw. What should we do? There's so many cool things. We could do Crop Captain, give it haste, get in there, but he's at 23. Seems like be playing slower would be more prudent. So I'm thinking it's a Gideon turn. I'm trying to think how my opponent could kill Gideon, and the answer is another unlicensed disintegration. And that doesn't exactly seem unlikely. That doesn't seem unlikely at all to me. Not the way that he's played this game, which has been kill everything. So, the odds of another unlicensed seem fairly high. I 
I guess we could bait it out with Chandra. Yeah, we could. You also could have encourage the youths. That could be really annoying. So I guess what we can do is just hold back. So we'll get in, we'll make the knight, but we won't attack. We'll play the control. Which is weird, because our opponent's been, like, aggressively killing all our stuff, but I think we've got the... We've got the control engine now. Blood Hall. Good. I was hoping a juicy target would emerge. Ow. Old. Hey, so he plans to flip those cards. And he loses an alms of the vein. I guess it's not going to matter too much. There's the lands. They are showing up in force now. Yeah, that has to die. Glorybringer would have also been an awesome draw. <laughs> Maybe another time. Excuse me. Now if he has a haste creature, he has to choose between the two walkers, so I'm not as worried. Let's get him dead. That is true, he could have madnessed out the priest and it would have been a mana less and he could have almsed. So that's actually a good call in that line. And there is the youths. So now he has to choose who to take who to attack, and it's gonna be Chandra. Land. Yes! Okay. Oh, wait. Nope. Mana short of what I really wanted to do. That's okay, though. Get big, kids. Now I could throw in the token, and then we might get him to one. Yeah, that's worth it. If he double attacks Gideon, then I play the crop captain with the battlements and win. So at this point, anything he has to anything that he has to use to attack Gideon is fine. So do I hold this back? I could for the surprise. Nah. We'll play it now. And then anything off the top is a good surprise. So he's gotta do six damage to Gideon. I would guess he plays cut to ribbons, but who knows? I haven't seen it. Red Wanderer, sure. Well, he's dead. Gotcha this time. The Planeswalker showed up just in the nick of time. I do think his line, he just killed everything super aggressively. I wonder if, you know, it just makes me wonder, could he have done things differently with the removal spells? Or did everything he shot require a removal spell? Did every removal spell he fired off have a worthy target? I don't know. I don't know about Kari Zev, Ithion. I don't know if they necessarily had to die. Game three.
Yep, this is, uh, for those of you just jumping in, this is... Oops. For those of you just jumping in, we are doing a mock tournament style testing spiky match. So this is game three of our mock, uh, of our, our, of our spiky testing session. And we'll see if the avocado can take out the humans. If you like these non-seal clubbing matches, feel free to show some love with some cheers. I don't know what they do, but you can cheer for me now, so that's a thing. Apparently I get paid somewhere. I don't know how it all works. <laughs> um, this is not a powerful hand, but it's not one I can get rid of. It has enough of the things I want going on. I just really wish it had more strength. Land will turn. And okay. Hmm. So again, this card I like to wait on playing it. The longer you wait, the better. So we'll just fire you out there. Because the more land you have in play when you cast him, the more likely you'll hit something powerful that you can cast, as opposed to just exiling a nothing. Works very well when the opponent plays commit, too, although I don't see that coming up here. Well, that's a big boy. Holy cow. Is it worth exerting to get through that? What do you guys think? Hmm. I think he's going to want to be aggressive. So I think I can get away with this. Thought about a bluff attack, but if he called it, we would be so screwed. It's not worth it, I don't think. Okay. And he doesn't even have an artifact out, and he's using that on Kithian. That is really good for me. Like, that is fantastic. Because he played three mana to remove a one mana. So uh, when you get that kind of a exchange rate out of your opponent, you feel pretty good about it. So now we have to decide how we want to turn up the heat. Probably, let's see, I'm thinking Kari can do the job. I want to save the Crasher till I can surprise him with it. Although at this point he might not find it surprising, but you never know. This is six damage. It's a pretty good clock. So the question right now is who's the beatdown? And I feel like since he spent turn three removing one of my cards, especially my one mana card, I feel like I am the beatdown even though he has the biggest creature. I think if we're aggressive enough we can force him to sit back and start blocking without dying. But that is the tightrope we walk. And Blade Adept. We, and there are... There you go. All right. That's a good draw. What would he even block? Hmm. But I think this is the right play, but having this out is so good. And he can't kill it. Oh, what's the right answer? Do I save you a little longer? I think I do. Oh wait, I can't give you haste, because this enters the battlefield tapped. Okay, that makes the decision a lot easier. Right, choose to exert, target you. A lot of damage. If 
He's gonna soak up the damage from the monkey. Ouch. Ouch, that's a no-value kind of lock there. He gets back his scrounger. But he's at seven. Scrounger can put some damage on me. But I feel like I've got time. He would need a lot of alms from the vein action, and I feel like he has mana issues. Lightning Axe. Down goes... Karizev. No alms from the vein. That's a big deal. Hmm. Don't think I can kill him. Don't think I can. I can put him at two. Then I have a selfless. You could also play it conservative. So we could hasty selfless, we could abbot, leave back a blocker and just poke him. Pretty tough. Pretty close. But I think I'll go with this route. His move. He knows that the crop crasher is coming back. Found the other land, but enters tapped because of Thalia. Can he find the lethals? Soak up as much damage as possible here to prevent getting somehow surprised. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll... Play selfless to prevent any removal shenanigans. Hasty spirit indeed. And it looks like we'll get there. Whew! Tough game. Intense, right? A lot different from seal clubbing. 